Hello, my beautiful Pisces friends. Welcome to my channel, Irish Donatero. We're doing your speed shuffle right now. For those of you who would like to enter the contest for a free reading, the details are below. Take a look and let's jump into this reading. Thank you for joining me. We have a gorgeous reading here. I am really thrilled at what I see. There are some complications, no doubt about it, but let's dig in. All right, so your energy, Pisces, is one of trying to seek answers. We're getting this energy of the Hermit card, Virgo energy, with the Ace of Cups. You're giving a lot of thought to how much you love your person, what does a love relationship with this person look like. You're seeking answers because, you know, we see both of you are seeking answers right now. So with your energy, you're very much in love. You're giving a lot of thought to your relationship. You want this relationship. We also see that you love the passion in this relationship. You love the fact that there's a lot of communication. You love the fact that you passionately want to be with this person. They really inspire you. This person is really someone who supports your dreams. They do it in a quiet way, but you're you're very appreciative of this. Appreciative of this. We have Scorpio energy. You yourself hold back a lot of times um, with your enthusiasm. You know, we see that you you don't really tell your partner much about what you think and feel. You try to show them love through actions by giving them a lot of attention, by being very passionate when you make love. Uh, but it does show that, you know, you love this person deeply. The Scorpio King energy is of loving unconditionally and forever. There's a tremendous amount of loyalty here. Passionate loyalty. And we have absolutely, you miss your person when you're gone, but they're always in your heart. They're never uh, too far away in your thoughts. The Eight of Coins indicates, you know, it's telling me that you want to continue to work on this relationship. Eight of Swords says, though, that you're not really sure some days of whether you should reach out to your person or not. Uh, there are times when I feel as though you don't necessarily hear from this person and during the work day, and it looks as though you find that a little bit overwhelming. It makes you question your person and their devotion to the relationship. The Eight of Swords says that you're in your head about it, but it also says that you really try to monitor what you do in the relationship. Like you're, you would never be a person, Pisces, that would... Um, I shouldn't say never, but that you would be unlikely to be a person who would bombard another with a lot of texts um, because you do want reciprocity. So even though you get very enthusiastic sometimes, I think you think, oh, I sent too many texts or I'm reaching out too much. I feel as though right now you're trying to balance yourself. The Sun card says that you absolutely feel that your person is your happy place. The Sun card is the happiest card in the deck. Uh, it does look as though in this in the situation right now, it doesn't look as though you're seeing much of each other. When we look at your part person's energy, we're looking at the same sort of energy. They feel a little defeated here. They want to come and see you, and yet they feel locked out. I really feel this is, for many of you, pandemic-related issues because we see that your person loves you. This is a nurturing card. This is the emperor coming in. This is the emperor saying, I want to take action and oh I can't right now and and feeling very defeated and very sad by the fact that they can't really see you you know when we look at these cards we see this person's looking down you're blindfolded over here we have two hermit energies which says that you know you're you're both um, want, you both desire seeing each other and yet you're not able to so when I the star card, it really means that your person loves you, that you are their ideal. When they think of you, they feel as though you are a bright and shining star in their life. You feel as though they're the sunshine in your life. That's incredible. You both miss each other. When you're alone, you, you think about each other a great deal. 
the energy of the Queen of Wands. You know, your person feels very energetically invested, much in the same way as your Eight of Wands energy. Um, they feel very passionate about you. They feel as though they manifested you and like you are magic to them. Look at this, that you are magic. You see the wand, you see the little flame here going. So it's it's really nice energy. The Ten of Swords is that you're having to walk away, that your person is having to walk away from this and that they feel as though something has come to an end. There's some swords here and I don't see anything in these swords energies that tell me that there's actually been a betrayal. But I think that you're so sensitive to one another in the flow of communication that your person thinks sometimes that you put them in the friend zone. They feel as though sometimes you hold back um, and you treat them like a friend and they want, they're manifesting a lot more than that. We see, Pisces, that your person is trying to be very strategic. I feel as though you're grounded, they're strategic. So you might be dealing with a fire sign. Um, I also get the moon card, which says to me that your person feels really sad, very much missing you. They feel like they're underwater. Pisces, this is your energy. So, you know, feelings and energies can be vice versa, but I feel very much that their person is strategically trying to see or do whatever they have to do to come and see you. I do feel as though there is some sort of separation here that is not based on an argument. I feel like it's circumstances because we have her holding back. We have, you know, your person sort of being forced to walk away without any arguments. There's a very happy love story here. So the stressing cards, the stress cards are exhibiting themselves as, you know, as problems that are out there in the world as opposed to any fighting or disagreements the two of you are having. Uh, the Magician card is Virgo and Gemini energy. It's all about manifesting solutions so that you can spend time together. This is also a reunion card, a gathering card. This is a, like a day at the beach. Your mutual energies, Pisces, are that the Wheel of Fortune turns in your favor. It looks as though a, a cycle is going to be closed out. A cycle of separation is closing out. Um, what we also see is that there is energy around trying to have a celebration or even a marriage. We have the Five of Cups, so there is something underlying here in the relationship that is making both of you, since this is mutual energy, both of you are feeling this loss. You're very lonely. This is being sad and lonely. You know, you both know that you'll see each other soon because of the Wheel of Fortune. You may also be in different countries, different cultures, different, uh, just a very different set of circumstances circumstances but I'm seeing here that you feel very sad for many of this for many of you this could be a marital partner for many of you you're wondering um, I think every you know both of you in this relationship are wondering if a marriage would be viable you're thinking about it I love the fact that you're you're significant other has this Queen of Wands energy. Let's make it happen, Pisces. That's what they're saying. Let's make it happen. And this is, once again, not only a reconciliation card, making things work out, the Archangel here protecting the relationship. It is a reconciling differences, balancing things out, balancing your energies, and making it happen. When we look at the feminine, this Aries Queen, we really get this taste of the Magician also. The Magician is here and I really like this for you because we also see it in your outcome over here. So the Magician energy is very powerful. This is very creative. It's a creative force in your life. The Three of Cups also is just all about being happy together. I want to marry my best friend and your person wants this with you. You want it with them. Look at this. Oh, the Empress card. This is a card of manifestation. It's, it's like when you think of manifestation, the reason this Empress card is manifestation is that she has the baby. The whole world is in her hands, but she has the baby. It just hasn't come out 
to be visible to the world, but she has the baby. So it does show that the two of you are going to manifest this relationship in a beautiful new beginning. And so, for some of you, you will, you're, you're both or one of you is going through a divorce. But what I'm seeing here is you're energetically, you are manifesting a new beginning, beautiful energy. You both love each other tremendously. And here you are again in your reading, Ten of Cups, happily ever after, yet known as another marriage card. When we look at the energy of the outcome, it's exceptional. Look at this. The two of you have had to be very strong in this relationship. That is Leo energy. It's proud. It's fiery. You belong to one another. And you are standing strong with your beloved. I'm also getting the death card here that says that both of you will be highly protective of this relationship. You will cut out anything that threatens the relationship. I'm going to get a little bit more information on that also. We have that anything that isn't the truth gets released. This you have you both have great clarity in stepping into the future. Both of you may be leaving other relationships to be with one another. The death card would imply that somebody is getting a divorce. Um, you know, especially with the Libra Queen here. It may also be a situation in which both of you have been waiting to be together for a long time and the waiting is over. When we get the Magician card yet again, we get your person coming in with a romantic offer. Uh, again, they've been manifesting this when we see this Magician card. This person already plans on coming in with a beautiful love offer. Again, we have the Judgment card. When we see the Judgment card, it's, um, it's all about releasing negativity, releasing things from the past. So it does look as though the two of you are releasing. You both have great clarity about this relationship. Let's look and see. It's exquisite. I, you know, it's an honor always to do a reading like this. But it does look like circumstances have kept you apart and now you're leaving situations in the past. Especially your partner. I feel as though your partner may have left a marriage or or some sort of significant thing. This can also mean for many of you that your partner may have separated from a past uh, partner legal, I mean, not legally, or let's, how, how do I put this? You know those people who like, they separate and then they're still married and they never get around to getting a divorce? I see that energy here because the energy that they have for you is so strong and so much in love that this is more like details that need to be cleaned up. Your dreams need a practical plan and that is what your person is doing here with this energy of the Emperor card. Your person is taking making moves. We see the chess piece. So making moves. Let's see what the Spirit Oracle says for you in terms of advice. Make plans and focus. Okay, well, we have two cards of making plans. So that is what you're going to do. It's been a joy sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Take care, Pisces.